Once upon a time, I asked this question, what stops you from creating? I got a lot of answers about people's apprehension when making art, and one of those things had to do with knowing where to begin. Particularly with collage, people often ask, how do I start? That's the topic of today's video. So I'm sitting at my desk and I want to create a collage. What should I do first? How do I decide what project I should work on? What pieces should I use? Is there a technique that I should employ to make my collage a success? There are a couple of ways that I approach starting a collage. The first way is to choose your glue book or choose your background page and then let that guide what pieces you're going to add on top. The second way is to choose an individual piece, a piece of ephemera or some kind of piece that you particularly are drawn to and let that inspire the rest of the collage that you're going to make. I have put a link for a download of digital images, pieces of, ephem of ephemera that you can print and cut out at home to play around with in case you don't feel confident using the papers that you have at home or just want a few extra pieces to play with. Um, you don't need to sign up for anything to get this download, but I would appreciate it if you hit the like button, if you uh, think this is good content that you are enjoying watching and to encourage me to create more of these videos in the future. So I mentioned there was a couple of ways that I like to think about starting a collage. We are going to look at both. So let's begin. So on my desk, I have these papers. Um, these are the ones that are cut out. Here's what the page looks like originally after I printed it out. And then I cut them out to these individual pieces that we're gonna use in making a collage. In addition to the pieces, I have um, a paper pad with just some different designs. And I have some little pieces of things. This is a business card. This is a piece of napkin. I like to use these small cutouts. I use those um, scissors, zigzag scissors, to cut out pieces of um, envelope patterns. Then I just have some little scraps. I have tags, some um, doodles that I made, just a remnant of, of something else, a little piece of map, and a rubber stamping that I did on a piece of paper and then tore out. So these are my little pieces to work with in addition to the ones that I printed out and cut out. So the first way I mentioned of starting a collage is to choose the substrate first and then to build on top of it with individual papers. Now the reason why I mentioned this is because I have these little books. I call them eclectic page glue books where I gather a bunch of random pieces of paper. Sometimes they are um, old envelopes, sometimes they are postcards, and I bind them together with a Zutter bind it all. And I like them because it's, 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 they're different kinds of papers and they encourage me, they motivate me to, to add collaged papers on top. So this piece is something very similar to a page that I would see in one of my in one of my glue books. It would be here, for example. So if this was a page in my glue book and I was going to add on top of it, that's what we are looking at with these small pieces right here. So here is my page. Now, where to start? Think about adding three pieces of papers on here. 
And on this page, what's interesting, obviously, is what's here. This is interesting. This is interesting. So you may or may not want to cover those things up. Okay. So you can just play with pieces. You don't need to glue anything down. This is a piece of ledger paper. Um, it's got lots of lines on it. This has lots of lines on it, so maybe um, that would not be so interesting to use. Plus, it's a very similar color. Um, same with this, very similar colors. Uh, so it's not, it doesn't really, it doesn't do very much visually. This, this map is kind of good. It's, it, it, it works. Uh, what else? That, that might work as well. Okay, three pieces. Mm, we'll see. What else? I have my pattern paper. I might think about tearing out a piece from here. Let's take some of these scraps and see what we can do with them. And maybe maybe something from here as well. So this is the fun part. Just play around with things. This is very similar in color, the background. It's not very exciting. This too, this is very similar in color to that. That's all you do. You're just trying things out and you're looking for relationships. What could possibly work? This is nice, this looks good. I kind of like that. Um, that looks good. I do like that as well. There, look at that. Three things. I like that. I like that just the way it is. I wouldn't do anything else to it. I also have, well, for this up here, um, there's space, so there would be a couple of things. I would think about adding a piece of washi tape, perhaps. Another thing I might think about is doing a rubber stamping uh, right up here on the top. That would also work, right? But I think I'll go with this. And this is, again, this is just a piece of pattern paper. That's it, okay? This is just something ex libris, goes at the front of a book. And then this was a cutout from the downloadable. And I have the pink that matches just a little bit with the pink here. And it's also uh, lying on top of so that all three pieces are touching. Okay. Now, how to glue it down. This pattern paper is kind of thick, so I'm going to use double-sided tape on this one. I have my score tape, S-K-O-R. I like it because it's very easy to use. You can just tear it, and it, it sticks uh, very well. This is thinner, so you can use glue stick. Since I have my score tape right here, I'm just gonna use it. I'm going to go ahead and add this rubber stamping
And this is done. The second way to begin a collage is to find a piece of, of, of paper, of ephemera, that serves as your source of inspiration. And the term that I use for that is your muse piece, M-U-S-E, muse. So look through your papers and let's say that um, this is gonna be my muse. Now, all the other papers that go along or that I select are going to have a relationship in some way to this paper. Let me show you what I mean. So this is, this is the most important piece. Now I'm going to choose where to put it. This is gonna be my substrate. Let's just use my book since I have it out here. Um, so I'm going to begin to lay things out and see if I can create relationships with this muse piece. And relationship, I mean that there is some kind of connection between this piece and the others. So I'm just putting papers, putting papers on here, playing around. I'm not sure what's gonna work, what's not gonna work, right? And that's the great thing about collage is that you're not gluing anything down yet. Um, you're, just, you're just seeing what's gonna work. Here I like that there is this background little, little bit here of a stamp there, I like this. Right, and this kind of goes along with the postage theme, so that's interesting. Maybe cash sale doesn't really work with this, so I'm gonna take that away. That's already the first thing that I, I give as an example as a relationship. This, the, the theme of this kind of um, pasture or, or field and then cash sale, that doesn't really work together. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove this. Um, does a map work with, with a field? Yeah, possibly, possibly. We'll just leave it for now. Does this text work with it? Mm, it could. Um, I'm not really convinced, so let's just see what else there is. So I'm going to take that away. Here I've got my pattern paper. No, this is a little bit too plain. It doesn't really stand out very much. What else? I have my big flower, could I use this? No, I don't think so because I already have flowers in the stamp and they don't really go together and you, I don't wanna to do too much floral anyway, so I'll say no to that. What about these? These are stickers. Um, Possibly I could take one of take one of these. I'm not sure. There's a little bit of a shine, and um, it kind of. I, I'm not sure if that works. So I'll I'll say maybe to those. This map is still looking good though. What else? Possibly that. I have another floral scrap that I drew, kind of a um, sketch. No, that wouldn't work because I already have florals. Um, I already have one of these tags, so not necessarily. Um, I have this little piece of a photo. That's kind of interesting. How could I make this work? How about that? Before I used in the in the previous collage, this one, I used one, two, three pieces, and then a rubber stamping is a fourth, 
fourth um, thing that I that I did to this. How many pieces do I want to add on this? I'm not sure. The, the paper size is a little bit different, so um, more than three. I'm thinking more than three. I could do a piece of washi tape, perhaps. I'm going to take this away. Let's try the ledger paper. How's that? That works. And then I think I might put a piece of washi tape along the bottom. Look at these. Well, I already have numbers, but maybe I want to put norm more numbers across the bottom. Or this might be interesting. This pink, because there's pink over here. Okay, let me, let me play with putting these down. For these, I might use just a glue stick. I wanna have this postmark show just a little bit more, so I'm moving this photo down. Now notice that, notice that all of these pieces are touching in one way or another. I'm not letting anything float by itself, right? Now, do I want to put some washi tape on it? I can. I can put a couple of little pieces. Let's see what this looks like. Um, what about this one? That's kind of good. That's nice. Let's take a couple pieces. Maybe I'll put this one up here. I'll cut, cut that off. And then put this down here. Alright, so that is a very simple collage. So another question that people have is, how do you know when it's done? How do I know when to stop adding things? Um, the best thing to do is to leave it um, and go away and come back in a couple of hours or the next day and see how you feel about it. See if you would like to add anything else or if you are done. That's the way that I, I look at these and how I decide if I'm done or not. I'm happy with these right now. Um, I'm, I think that I have, I could add another postmark over here to touch, touch these, um, touch the stamp to, to the background, but there's a couple postmarks here already, so that's not even necessary. This, I feel, is, is pretty much done. Um, I could also possibly do something else over here, add something small. Um, if I look through my things really quick. Here, I have this, this um, little piece. I could put that right there. Actually, yeah, let me do that. That looks good. All right, now I'm done. <laughs> I hope that you found this video to be useful in helping you figure out where to begin with a collage. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section and I will answer them. Until next time, thanks for watching.